Hello Team Taurus, it's Empire333 here with your Love Tarot card reading. I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are on planet Earth. So let's get into it. For those of you who are new, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. And also, I might extend this reading for further spiritual advice. If Spirit guides me to do so, you can find the link under the video, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm clearing my throat here. So Taurus, I feel like what's happening here is like there's some type of falling out between you and a person, right? Now this could be, like I said, your, you know, who you're inquiring about, your romantic person in mind. Um, <clears throat> I see that there's a lot of built up possible anger and resentments that you have towards this person. And some of you, I feel that what's happening here is like when you had the falling out, you could have just kind of um, exploded on this person, okay? Because there was a lot of pent up, you know, emotions. It could have been anger. It could have been resentment. It could have been a lot of disappointments that came through, okay? There definitely was some type of falling out I'm seeing here. And you're, it's like there was a storm, okay? You are over the storm. So just to let you know, that all those people who are here, welcome, that are new, this is a timeless reading. So it could be, you know, uh, future for you. It could be present. It could be past. So just pay attention to how the cards go <clears throat> with the storyline, okay, with your love story. This is Archangel Raphael. So what I feel here is that, a lot of you know you love this person. You know you care about this person. You've got feelings for this person, right? But at the same time, what I'm seeing here is like head over heart, heart over head. And it's like, I feel like a lot of you, um, the reason that you there was some type of conflict or falling out is because you got sick of carrying that in your head. You got sick of carrying all those feelings in your heart. And a lot of you probably exploded your emotions. Um, let me know in the comments, Taurus. And here the thing is, is that it. Um, I feel that between you and your person, the argument could have gotten like escalated. And um, it's left you, you know, with a broken heart or disappointed. Some, some of you thought that, you know, you might say something that would actually help the situation, but what I feel here is like you you know now that you're not making progress for some of you. So it could be a fight that kind of got out of control, and um, I'm not talking about physical. I'm talking about, you know, an argument that could have gotten out of control, and now you're disappointed because some of you thought, okay, if I let this out, if I tell this person A through Z, um, if I call them out for everything, if I release it, then, you know, maybe it's going to change something for the positive. And a lot of you didn't get that. A lot of you just got crickets, okay, is what I'm just hearing. So it's like after a fight, you know, like you both don't know what to say. It's very awkward and there's like this, this silence. So that's what I'm picking up on here, guys. And... This has a lot to do with their journey, Taurus. So we've gotten this before for you with the temple path. This has to do with you wanting to make some type of a move and your person not being on the same page as you, okay? So it's like you want this person to be the partner where you do things together, right? Where you make plans together, where you see eye to eye, but... It's like, I'm just looking at that flame that's bouncing when I say that. So I feel like that is the biggest issue here, okay? And this has also a lot to do with your expansion and your evolution. And as you are learning lessons, okay, with this person, through this person, and this person is also learning lessons through you is what Spirit is saying here. So let's get into the tarot now with... Um, this deck and it's going to be for those of you who are new the person that you are dealing with let's see what they're thinking feeling okay spirit 
What can you tell us about Taurus this person? Whoa. Okay. You know, that's so strange. <laughs> when I was pre-shuffling, this card popped out too. Okay. But what I'm getting here is that it's not over. Okay. And um, let's see what else. They don't think it's over, Taurus. Is it over for you? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments. Whoa. Okay, hold on, guys. I have to do this without showing my skimpy shorts to everybody. Hold on. It's really hot here, so it's over 100 degrees. Okay, so let's see. So, guys, definitely there was some type of a fight. This person felt... You feel like this person is pushing you away, okay? And it, it has a lot to do with whatever they're attached to, guys. So, it could be a person. It could be a family. It could be, you know, whatever they are attached to, this, this unhealthy attachment they have to... What I'm seeing here is that they're confused about how to get out of a situation, okay? So maybe they're tied down to a situation that they made like a obligation to or something like that. And the big part of the issue here is like they don't know how to leave that situation. They don't know how to leave. So I feel like some of you know whatever this is, whatever I'm talking about, that they're attached to a person, place, thing, whatever it is. <laughs> okay? And this, they want to leave. Okay? And what I'm seeing here is that, okay, this is what I want to say. Taurus, this person that you're dealing with, okay, they, um, you're a big part of their um, journey, okay? And so they are to you, okay? Same thing, vice versa. The issue here is that you're really pulling out this person's skeletons and throwing it in their face. So if it's like, hey, you're weak, you're being controlled, you know, that kind of thing, and you... you basically um, call this person out on their, you know, weaknesses, right? So you're be like, you're, you maybe you told them, hey, you're being controlled by so-and-so. You're, this is ruling you. This is dominating you. Whatever it is, it's like you call them out on it. So this person, not only are they they're kind of mad, you know, that you're calling them out on their BS, Okay, because it's BS to you, right? So what I'm seeing here is that they're confused on how to leave that situation, whatever it is, okay? And at the same time, you feel that they're pushing you away. And whatever arguments between you are not being resolved for that, okay? This person knows. Look at that. There's a tower here, right? That's the card that flipped out of, you know, flipped off the table onto the floor. This is about this person making a major change to, like, to make the connection stable between you two or whatever direction you want it to go to go. But this is major, okay? This is about, like, major changes, major events, right? And even though I don't read so much traditional tarot, this person is trying to figure out how to leave that situation because there are emotions connected to that situation, okay? And it doesn't matter whether they, if it's a person, whether they love that person or not, whatever, there are emotions connected to some type of a situation that they need to leave, right? Um, let's see. Okay, hold on. Yeah. So, 
I put that card back. We're going to pull more cards, but this is your energy, by the way, for those of you who are new. This is about your person. I mean, this is about you always being the one to take action, Taurus. This person is not taking the action necessary to make something out of the connection you guys have, okay? So let's see. Wow, Taurus, it's over for you, huh? Is it really over? You you both are mirror. I mean, this is like the five of wands. I wonder what type of a fight you got into with this person. What's What was said, Taurus? Let's see. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's see. So here we have, okay, you think it's over. They don't think it's over, guys, by the way, okay? Regardless of how they're acting and behaving, um, I don't think they think it's over. This is about you... Um, It's like, I'm going to look at this card visually. This is a strength card, but I'm looking at it as, you know, I haven't spoken for such a long time and I finally spoke and got this off my chest. That's what I'm, I'm hearing and I'm seeing from spirit. So some of you feel that all this time, it's like, it was enough. Like I didn't speak up. I didn't complain. I didn't, you know, whatever. And this was kind of like the, you know how they say the camel that broke the, what is that saying? Oh my God. Spirit always tells me sayings that I have no idea about like that. I don't use myself Taurus. So it's like the camel that broke the camel, back, no, the straw that, no, I don't know. Something broke the camel's back. So basically you reached your level. You reached the, the level of tolerance and I feel that that's what caused the fight that's what caused the breaking um like the the breaking point thank you spirit I still want to know the camel saying okay <laughs> let me know below you guys what is that um so this is about some of you are just wishing this person just gets it together and you know comes back and you, you actually feel this person when you go to sleep at night, okay? You might be seeing dreams of them and whatnot. But you feel, you know, you feel shut out, okay? I, this is so interesting. You feel shut out. You feel that, you know, for some of you, what I'm getting is that you feel like this person is hiding something else from you, okay? you don't see you don't see them as clearly you know because how should i say you feel like this person is making excuses taurus i'm not going to extend this reading guys just an fyi let's get into it deeper i feel that there's a lot of neglect going on in this connection that is like the biggest issue here you feel like your person shuts you out. You feel like they don't, they're not open with you. You feel they're hiding things from you now. Um, wow. Okay. Let's see. Okay, what else can you tell us about Taurus's person spirit? What does Taurus need to know? Oh my God, patience is a virtue. What? Spirit. Whenever spirit starts talking about patience, I'm like, come on now, please stop. <laughs> but I love them. Okay, so, wow. Okay. Someone's not, okay, if you're living with this person, they're like, I don't want to go home right now. 
okay? Or if you, you know, this person usually comes over that, I just heard, I don't want to come home right now, okay? So what I feel like is this person is taking their sweet time. They feel also that even whatever they said during the argument, Taurus, or whatever falling out you both had, I feel like this person knows that they failed you regardless. So they could have, you know, maybe made, even if they made up excuses on whatever it is, why this is this connection is not going the way you want it to, I feel like they, they think they failed you, okay? And that's why now this person here wants to come in through, you know, slowly, okay? That's what they're thinking of. They don't want to rush back home or wherever um, you consider home, they consider home. And there's this very slow approach coming up, okay? So why? Why is spirit, why is this person moving slow? Let us know. Yep. Because they got to get rid of this, okay? Whatever this is, right? This is something, this could be a family or family members or a foundation they built with another family. It could be someone who is like just separated, not divorced or with someone else. It could be a myriad of things, okay? But when we started out, I was already getting some type of a family dynamic that they need to leave, okay? Now, if this is not leaving a family, guys, this could be anything related to something that has been put in place. So it could be they need to leave the family business or they need to get their money or their share. It, it could be anything that is related to a, a, like a, a foundation that has been put in place for a long time, okay? So whatever it is, whatever your scenario is, this person needs to leave this, needs to take care of it in whatever way possible. Um, and it's like they're buying time. So while you are like, okay, it's been forever, you know, this person is taking their time. Anything you else you want to tell Spirit? Tell okay. Taurus. What do you want to tell Spirit, Taurus? Put it in the comments below, okay? All right. Ooh. I love this. So, Taurus, this is what it is. Um... I feel that you know that the cycle needs to end, okay, of whatever this is that your person is holding on to or can't leave, I should say, feel stuck in that. Um, you want to end the cycle because you're ready. You're ready to expand. You're ready to be abundant. You're ready to get all the things you want, you, you know, um, you're ready for receiving. You've given a lot and you're ready to like, you know, go big is what I just heard. Go big or go home kind of thing, right? So I feel that what's holding this back is between you and this person is really this. And you know that, right? But some of you, um, you're going to be in your feelings, Taurus. Just try to meditate, keep yourself busy, and uh, don't lose sleep over this because I feel that Whatever it is, it's going to guide you. Listen to your intuition is what Spirit is saying. Look at the messages you're getting and where the guidance is coming, where you are guided to go, okay? So I hope that this has helped you, Taurus. If it has, don't forget to like this video. Um, subscribe if you already have not and you like my style of reading. Hit the bell. Turn on all notifications. I wish you all the best and peace out, Taurus.